weather alerts continue right now as we take a live look on the roads. Many just beginning their afternoon commutes and some slick conditions could make that drive pretty dangerous. Mm, especially the farther north you get towards the Palmer Divide. Storm Tracker 13 Chief Meteorologist Mary Matthews is in now with details on where the biggest impacts are being felt this afternoon. Yeah, mainly across northern El Paso County. Uh, what we want to say right off the bat here, if you weren't joining us yesterday, this was never supposed to be a storm that was going to be crippling. Uh, you know, it was never supposed to be you know something you look outside and you think, man, snow just falling. This is awesome. Uh, it was supposed to be that hidden danger of freezing drizzle and a little bit of light snow. Uh, the freezing drizzle is the problem. It has been the problem. It looks like it's starting to wind down now. So just kind of keep that top of mind awareness because some roads are just fine, as you saw there on that drive live. We've got a transition over to snow uh, later this evening. Right now, majority of that is happening here across parts of northern Colorado, uh, but you'll notice a few returns starting to show up there across parts of the Palmer Divide. Uh, so a few little snow flurries later this evening. Let's take care of our Mortgage Solutions financial camera. It certainly looks very cold here in Colorado Springs. Uh, you you can see the uh, parking lot here already looking partially covered and uh, of course the lens is getting iced over as well. Uh, traffic flowing along just fine. It's your bridges and overpasses that you're going to have to watch. Windshield readings are in the teens in Colorado Springs, so it feels more like nine degrees in Lamar. Uh, feels more like those low teens across I-25. Road conditions, secondary roads, typically okay here around Pueblo County. It's the bridges and overpasses that are the problem. We've had several slide offs reported there in central Pueblo County at about 1.30 today. Uh, but you'll notice across parts of the Pikes Peak region, this is where our ground temperatures continue to cool off into the 20s and 30s, which means any light snow that falls this evening will start to stick uh, rather quickly. Uh, still a little bit of fog overnight tonight. The winter weather advisory stay in effect until 8 p.m. Uh, change over to some light flurries this evening, but it will be extremely light, a dusting at best and then fog occurring. This is what some folks experienced earlier today on bridges and overpasses because you have the uh, air flowing underneath the bridge and on top of it, it freezes first. Uh, so this is why it's that hidden danger. People clocking, you know, 40, 50 miles an hour, then you hit a bridge. It doesn't matter really if it's pre-treated. It, will it help? Yes. Uh, but will it still get very slick, especially for non-treated surfaces? Absolutely. And that happened uh, several times earlier today as we had about a two to three hour period of freezing drizzle. Still going to be foggy tomorrow morning. Skies will gradually start to clear out tomorrow afternoon and another round of just snow on Friday. No freezing drizzle. So we'll talk a bit more about that next system coming up in just a few minutes. All right.